Welcome back. I'm, pa I'm Paolo Shakarian, and in this lecture, we will discuss regularization. So the objectives for this is you should be able to define it and also understand L1 and L2 penalties. So regularization is trying to address the problem of overfitting. And we could see that here. We have a bunch of data. There's a very nice linear relationship between the data, but you can also come up with a very crazy polynomial that fits the data exactly. Um, but you know, no one would expect that this would be the right model for, uh, underlying the process that created that data. So as human beings, we can clearly see this, but with a training algorithm, it would not, especially when you start dealing with multiple features and you have all these weights and not all the features, you know, might be um, causally related in all cases. So the algorithm will try to do what this polynomial is doing with this data that's shown on the slide. It will just try to fit that model to the data um, regardless of if it's overcomplicated. And one kind of telltale sign of this, especially with linear regression, you might see a lot of weights that have very small values. And what's going on there is for those features that the weights are getting these like ridiculously small values, the gradient descent algorithm is just kind of adding those weights uh, at those very small values just to catch a couple of extra samples in the training data set. And Hence, it does overfitting as a result. So how does this happen? Well, again, it's trying to find parameters that best fit the model to the data. Now, not all of the parameters are associated with either features or in the case of deep learning, they're associated with neurons. And not all of them may actually be important. And we may actually want to have the case in a feature-based approach where we have some features that might not be important, but we don't know which ones are important and which ones are not. We would like our training algorithm to be able to figure that out. In the case of deep learning, you come up with a structure for the neural architecture, and not all of those neurons are going to need to be used. So again, some of them you, know, you might want to discard. Gradient descent by itself is not going to do either of those things. In this lecture, we're going to focus on more of the first case where you have a function that you're trying to optimize uh, with gradient descent using uh, a feature-based approach. So for this, there are basically uh, two very popular ways of penalizing your weights associated with features, and they're L1 and L2 penalties. And what you do is you have essentially a sum of the weights with this additional hyperparameter alpha, and this gets added to your objective function. And the more features that you are assigning uh, large weights to, the more that that penalty increases. So you want to have gradient descent avoid doing that. What's nice is this is a linear combination, so it's not really adding anything to the complexity of your objective function. So two very popular methods of regularization. So first is you have uh, ridge regression, where now what you add in to your error, you're also adding in the L2 penalty. Now, this is going to have the effect of shrinking all the coefficients, but it's going to end up focusing on the larger coefficients because it's squaring the weights in that second summation there. Also notice that the summations in these uh, used for regularization, they're summed over m and not n. And the reason for that is you're summing over the number of features, not number of samples because you're looking at the individual weight values. So the next type is lasso regression. Now here, you're just adding in a sum of the absolute value of the weights. Now this is going to be more selective on which 
uh, coefficients it shrinks, which weights it shrinks. And uh, it'll actually end up reducing the weight so much, some cases even to zero, where it'll allow you to discard features altogether. Because once that weight is zero in a regression problem, you might as well not even have that feature. The issue with lasso regression is it's much slower to convergence. So that concludes our lecture on regularization. Stay tuned for more content.